Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Laws of Refraction The incident wavefront AB, the refracted wavefront CD and the refracting surface XY all lie in the same plane. Angle of incidence I is equal to angle of PAN is equal to 90 degrees minus angle NAB is equal to angle BAC. Angle of refraction R is equal to angle N, 1 AD is equal to 90 degrees minus angle DAC equals angle ACD. Sin I by sin R is equal to BC by AC divided by AD by AC. That is equal to BC by AD is equal to BC by BC into C2 by C1 is equal to C1 by C2 is equal to a constant is equal 1 mu 2. 1 mu 2 is called the refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium. This is Snell's law of refraction. If 1 mu 2 is greater than 1, the first medium is rarer and the second medium is denser. Then C1 by C2 is greater than 1. This means that the velocity of light in rarer medium is greater than that in a denser medium. This conclusion from wave theory is in agreement with the result of Foucault's experiment. It is clear from the above discussions that the refractive index of a medium is given by mu m is equal Velocity of light in vacuum divided by velocity of light in the medium is equal to Ca by Cm. The frequency of a wave does not change when a wave is reflected or refracted from a surface, but wavelength changes on refraction. This is mu m is equal Ca by Cm is equal nu lambda a by nu lambda m is equal to lambda a by lambda m. Therefore, lambda m is, is equal to lambda a by mu m, where lambda a and lambda m are the wavelengths in air and medium, respectively. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.